Today's video, we're going to be talking about daytime contouring, which is a very different procedure to contouring for photography when it's in controlled lighting or nighttime. Daylight can be very a harsh light, so we want to make sure that we don't have too many dark lines coming down through here and colours that are like too light, where it's too obvious on the skin for during the day. So a couple of things that you need to also make sure is choosing the right colours. So for example, I have two colours here. I've got the Paintbox Sandalwood Blush that I'm going to be using. There's a highlight if I use something like Canvas, they're very similar in colour tone and therefore they can often be very flat on the skin because they're too similar. So when I do a daytime contour, I like to use three products. I am going to be using the Sandalwood Blush along with, um, which I'm going to be using the contour underneath, which I'm going to show you where. The colour that I like to apply on top of the cheek, I'm going to be using a colour called Pink Dusk to add colour to the skin. And when I'm going to be highlighting, I'm going to be using a super frosty highlight product um, that is going to be coming around just the top part through here. And this product's called Champagne. So what I like to do sometimes is apply my highlights first. So I'm using brush number three and applying a small amount of the product of the Champagne to the temple area through here. So coming in through here into an inverted C shape, stopping at the edge of the eyebrow area. Just a small amount and coming through this way when we're doing our highlight. And just coming up but making sure that we stop at the corner of the brow. We don't want it to be too shiny in through this area here. The next product I'm going to apply is the colour. So this is going to be coming on top of the cheek and onto the apple of the cheek. And I always like to blend a little bit of my highlight colour in with the blush so colour. So I'm blending colour forward in a slight buffing movement on top of the cheek and coming down onto the apples of the cheek. So starting back and blending forward. And it's nice when you blend the colour in with your shine that we've already applied, the highlight colour. Okay. So now we're going to contour. So I'm going to be using my blusher brush and what I like to do is just apply a small amount onto one side of the brush. I like to press in the middle of the brush when we apply in through here, in through the side of the face. Now where we apply our contour, if you were to draw a line down from the tip of the ear down to the corner of the mouth, that's basically where we're going to be applying our contour. Where we want the contour to stop is actually at the edge of the eyebrow. We don't want to have like a dark mark coming down through here. We just want the contour to come underneath the cheekbone. So I have my product on, so I'm just gently coming underneath, just backwards and forwards. Coming underneath. So working on the other side, coming through, bending my brush in the middle and then coming underneath, backwards and forwards. Just creating a very soft contour. Another tip as well that you can use is using the number two fibre brush as well that you can then use just a buff and blend the contour together.